friends, this is Susan. I'm here for story time um, with my little ones. So let's get going and we'll start with our opening song. So get your hands ready. You ready? The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. So today I wanted to read one of my favorite well-loved storybooks. You can tell by the condition that it's in. Um, it's called The Carrot Seed and it's written by Ruth Krauss. And the illustrations are by Crockett Johnson, and he's the one that illustrated Harold and the Purple Crayon, so you may see a little similarity uh, with the character. Um, and it's again, it's called The Carrot Seed. A little boy planted a carrot seed. You can see how tiny it is. His mother said, I'm afraid it won't come up. His father said, I'm afraid it won't come up. And his big brother said, it won't come up. Every day, the little boy pulled up the weeds around the seed and sprinkled the ground with water. But nothing came up. And nothing came up. Everyone kept saying it wouldn't come up. But he still pulled up the weeds around it every day and sprinkled the ground with water. And then one day, A carrot came up. Just as the little boy had known it would. And that's the end. I wondered, I always like to show um, when it said that one day the carrot came up, you might be thinking, where is the carrot? All I can see is green. I used to, um, I like to show a picture of how carrots actually grow. I'm hoping you can see this, at least the center picture. Um, carrots don't grow, the tops of the carrots grow above the ground, but the actual carrot grows in the ground. So if you were in the garden, you would only see the tops. You may not know that there are carrots down below. Um, and that's how, that's why this picture, you can't really see the carrot, it's growing under the ground. Uh, what I like to do with kids or often do is I used to put out the felt carrots with numbers on them and I would put out a bunch of, uh, let's move them over a little so you can see them all. Put out a bunch of um, green stems. These are also felt and their job would be to put the number of stems on each carrot. So there's the number one. So you put one stem. This carrot says number two so I'm going to put two stems. What do you think I should put on this one? It says number three. So 
You're right. I'm going to put three stems. This is number four. So I'm going to put four stems on this one. Whoops. That one's bending. And the last one says five. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, and five. And for some kids, I might even go a little higher and do six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that's an idea that I thought perhaps you could do at home. You don't have to do it in felt. You can draw 10 different triangles and maybe have um, one of your grown-ups put numbers on them for you. And then you can put the, that number of carrot stems on top of that carrot. Um, it's an idea. Uh, you also could just cut out a triangle for maybe even the little younger ones. Um, and of course, I always like to use those fine motor skills, rip up some paper and glue it on and put on some stems. If you're able to work with scissors, you can cut. If not, you can just tear them. Um, and certainly, if you do any of these things, please send a picture in and I would be happy to post it. Um, meanwhile, let's get ready and say our goodbye song. So put up your hands. Actually, hand. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye, friends. Thank you.